What's going on, family? Hope everything is all well and blessful. Now, no matter what you're going through right about now, where you're at in life, if you're called, you know that it's for a reason. It's for God's purpose. If you're called and you know you're called, just know this. If you're going through a testing right now, you know you need to humble yourself and it's only for the good. Hallelujah. We got to grow. We got to make steps. We can't be lacking anything before we go into the kingdom. Everything that we lack and part of our weakness, we have to go through it to, so we can be strengthened in our weakness and so we won't be lacking anything. We cannot go into the kingdom lacking anything. What that means is being easily manipulated into doing things that's opposing to God. That's not going to happen in the kingdom. That's what Paul was saying. When we're being tested, we're only being tested to get our spirituality strength, our godly character strengthened, so we won't lack nothing before Yeshua come back. Getting that understanding, you will be glad to have that happen to you. So you can overcome that. Now we're at levels where we can ignore wicked people. We can shine them all. We gray wall them. Mean cutting them all. We can do that with no problem. Before that, we weren't able to do that. So we're going to be going through tests. So that's for the good. Now being tempted through our storms and stuff like that. You know you're being tempted by Satan because whatever it is that's, that you're being tempted with. If it's opposing to God's commands, then you know it's, it's Satan tempting you. Whatever you know that is a sin and it's opposed to God's laws, then you know that's what it is by Satan. That's how you know you're being tempted. Know the difference. When you're being tested, you're being tested for the good. You're only growing spiritually throughout that, that uh, testing. Tempting by Satan is when you know it's something that Satan wants you to do or, or say or think or feel or act on when it's opposing to God. That's the difference. Now, moving on, family. I want to talk about uh, after you gray wall people or you realize that even when you talk with certain people, after you've uh, actually gray wall, like mean cutting people off, cutting people off from their wickedness. Now, if it's work-related, you only cutting them off because you're not trying to have any really conversation with them. I don't care about no no Trump being shot or none of that. I'm just going to keep it 100. With me, before we go any further, to me, my thing, it may be fate for votes. That's just my input. Let me come back because I don't want to get off the subject. We have to stay focused on God. Whatever's in our heart to do in life and stay focused on, let's do that. If we get defocused, then we're going to have our mind and our heart on worldly things. And like I said, you have to be careful with things that post down here in the world on TV and with anybody. Because Satan is highly at that mode of deceiving everybody. Like I said, be careful what you see and believe. Moving on. So, when you cut people off, well, I don't know if it's just me or if you all out there notice that when people who we don't talk to no more, they find anybody to talk to. You be like, are you that miserable? They find anybody to talk to. And you know, if you listen, you're not trying to listen, but they be loud to try to make you feel like, yeah, you cut me off, but nah, 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 I'm talking to somebody else. These are do do ways. Oh, boy, you didn't hear me. Yeah, we got our own saying. Those are do do ways. <laughs> See, this is a body over here talking, and they talking to anybody, and they be talking about nothing. They be talking about stupid stuff. You be like, you really need to just shut up. You can't be that miserable. So, when people do that, <laughs> when people do that, it's not because they're looking for happiness. Because they miserable people would never be happy if they don't have God in their life. Let me tell you that right now. They are always miserable. When they do stuff like that, looking for conversation, they be, oh my gosh, oh, you, you should just see these people. They are so thirsty for attention. They are looking for that feeling of security. That's why they do it. When you walk up and you don't pay no man, they get an attitude. They start boasting out things and huffing and puffing. And they go whisper and talk and do everything to try to make you feel the way they feel. They, that's how stupid they are. 
they think when they do things after we cut them off, we're supposed to feel the way they feel. They aren't stupid. They are childlike minded. So always, always remember that when you see stupidities like that, when you see people uh, crowded up. And look, I'm going to say this before I even go further explaining that. They're always talking about you. They always talking about you when they're not being stupid, talking about the birds and the bees and the skies and the, and the planes out loud to try to make you feel some type of way, which they're making themselves look even worse within the conversation. They ain't talking about nothing. We ain't missing nothing with them people. But when they're by themselves and they're in the cut, they always talking about us. See, see how powerful we are? <laughs> All we doing is obeying and manning our business and doing our job. They can't stand when we keep it simple with them. <laughs> so they make it difficult within their realms because they are miserable. It's just so annoying. But we can't do nothing but just keep quiet, smirk. Thank God. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, talking with others makes them feel secure. They're not happy. Now, here's another thing. When they do things and look at us and watch us, when they when they do things to try to make us feel like them, which is so stupid. When we smile, we could be smiling about things we're going to do at the work. We could be smiling about watching set apart to serve videos, getting uplifted by God Almighty. We could smile about the blessings that we're about to receive from God Almighty because of our obedience. We could be thinking about anything. It's not them we're thinking about. But we smile. They sit back and look and get more mad because we are happy naturally. Hallelujah. We are happy. And they are more disturbed because we didn't cut them off. We're not giving them attention, which is also seeking acknowledgement. And we're not giving them that. And it tells them apart with all that said and done. We are smiling. They get mad at that. I've heard somebody say after Saturday, look, yeah, somebody was smiling and smiling. It's like, you know they're talking about me or you. But so what? Why don't you smile? Why are you always mad? You can't even pretend to be happy. You fake laugh, but as soon as you fake laugh, you get right back in the snap of a finger, back into that misery look. <laughs> when people fake laugh around you, that's not happy. That's security. These people are trying to do things uh, as a, a defensive mechanism. So they laugh out loud. They ha, 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 out loud. Look like kids. They act like kids. They talk about why the sun shouldn't be over there on the west side and why is it over here. Yeah, I know, but I've been thinking about that. Why is the sun over here? And what favorite kind of sauce you like on your tacos? And, and they be like dramatic with these type of dumb conversations. I like Teddy Pendergrass. I like Al Green. No, I like Sexy Red. Uh, sexy Red, y'all, I like, I know I'm 50 years old, but I like Sexy Red too. Sexy, you be sitting in the cut, like, doing your thing, like, am I in it? Where am I at? But we have to stay focused on why God got us amongst these dodos. <laughs> it's so funny. So, people, just know, keep your wall up, stay positive, uh, and just know when people... Be thirsty for conversation and company. They're miserable and they do it for security reasons after we didn't cut them off. They feel so alone from our presence. It's ridiculous. These people are not happy talking to Tommy and Michael and Ray Ray. They just want that look to make us feel that they are likable, that they're being acknowledged. But you have to just look at it. They're being, the dodos are being acknowledged by other dodos. So there you go. See, that goes back to the video about me saying uh, that Satan and the demons will be tormented day and night. That's what happens with people of the world right now. Once the, the chosen ones cut them off and they still around us due to work wise or whatever, they are being tormented spiritually. We're not doing anything. That is a foretaste of what's to come with Satan and the demons. That's why I'm saying do not be back into people pleasing 
when they people please, they do that because they don't want to feel miserable for the moment. They're always miserable, but they don't want to feel it at a moment. They don't even want that look, but they're all miserable. So they do it just for temporary purposes. You see what I'm saying? They only do it for the show of us. But they so stupid, dull with it, that they don't understand that we have discernment and we know what they're doing and we know who they really are. That's the reason why we still have our wall up. That's the reason why we still have the courage to leave them where they at and move forward. And that's the reason why, listen, that's the reason why they are mad because we have the strength to stop people pleasing. We have the strength to stop people pleasing. If they even dare to do what we doing, they would, they would get attacked and they wouldn't be able to handle it. They'll give in. They'll be like, oh, oh no, I was just having a bad day. That's all. Ooh, I was trying to give it a try, but oh man, huh. No, 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 no. I was just having a bad day. My arm was hurting. That's all, you know. Oh, no. My baby mama was just this. So we cool. We cool. We cool. And here's the validation of trying to find out if we're if we're at that wall, wall down moment. Let me tell y'all how they try to see, to see if we back gullible with them. People pleasing. When they always speak. See, here's the thing. We have no problem speaking. It's just that we have to be careful speaking to certain people because the, those that look for us who seek validation through our has and bads and farewells, those are the ones, oh, she spoke to me. Oh, he said, hey. And then next thing you know, they want to start talking. They want to start getting back in cahoots and go right back into the shenanigan, tempting us. See, tempting tempting us to gossip and all this other stuff that God has withdrew us from. You see what I'm saying? We have to be careful. And see, all this stuff takes courage. That's why a lot of true, a lot of the true church or the chosen ones, they kind of fall away and they backslide and they step away because they are afraid to take courage. See, when you're afraid to take courage to shame these people away, that means that you don't have faith in Father. You don't have faith in God. You're not using that shield of faith. That's all it is. You have to have faith. When you have faith, God is going to protect you from these dodos. That's the reason why I see, and I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my spirit that I'm doing the right thing. And it's a it's a struggle too, because it's like, man, you know, they they be trying to give in. They be they be wanting you to give in. And it's like, no, we're going to war. And not only that, let me tell y'all nothing before I click off. It's the respect. It's the respect that they are forced to give you while you're working with them. They hate it. But you give them no reason to disrespect you at this point. Now, they may still have an attitude amongst themselves and huffing and puffing and rolling their ass. They may do that. But first coming at you directly, they have no choice but to respect you at the workplace. Because with your peace and your silence, you're, the ball is in their court now. So if they do something disrespectful and against the policy, now you have a reason to complain and get them fired, which means a disqualified out the workplace. That's one less dodo you will have to worry about. See what I'm saying, people? So that's the reason why it's important to stay humble and do not fret. Psalm 37, verse 7. The whole book of Psalms, it's a long, that's probably the longest book in the Bible, but Psalm is very, very helpful for your spirit. It's very encouraging that whole book, but Psalm 37, seven, read that, take it down, put it on your car, put it on your refrigerator, put it at your computer, put it, put it on the back of your phone or something, but keep that verse and maintain it and exercise it. We don't care anymore about what Satan and his henchmen are feeling when we gray wall them, when we gray rot them, when we cut them off in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Seek peace. Blessed are those who seek peace. Shalom.